are so honored on this Tuesday morning, as always, every other Tuesday, have <laughs> City Council President Jimmy Gill, who I saw me and Tom did last Finally night in, action. in complete action. Yeah. So <laughs> that was a crowd last yeah. night. As a crowd, yeah. Hostile crowd. Would you consider uh, right that kind of hostile? Uh, you were the most popular man in there last night. Huh? People were after you. Well, I've been out there before. <laughs> so, so. All right, done deal. This was some articles that were in the paper over the weekend. People complaining, and there's Deborah King jumping all over you from Friday, That's as she did again last night. We'll have video. That don't forget, before I forget it, hmm. and Jimmy, I, I told him a second ago, tonight from 6 to 7, we will air, we'll have this on Facebook too, exclusively the tax vote. Including commercials tonight. I'll make it one hour. I didn't shoot but about 40 minutes worth of video. But it'll be a one hour thing when the City Council President Jimmy Gill goes through everything last night and heard complaints from about 20 people. There was probably over 100 folks in there last night. Every seat was taken. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, I guess the number one question is why did the City Council not wait? And it was explained uh, by Dr. Cottle, I do believe, last night. Why did the City Council not wait until the new members took over? Well, we didn't really not. On a wait, but here's the thing: the tw the four or five of council, sitting council at the present time, we've been looking at this budget year after year after year for the last three or four years, trying to figure out a way without raising the sales tax to come up with some alternative. So we know what the budget is, we know what what the amount of money, and like I said last night, that's public record. But nobody comes and get a copy of the budget. They come see the financial report for the end of each month. Nobody comes to that, but as soon as they hear about, say, a possible tax increase, here they, you know, come and uh, got complaints. Did anything shock you about some of the complaints that the citizens had last night? Yeah, a little bit, but you know, that's that's common, that's common. But the main thing, I never did hear nobody complain about the tax that's on our utility bill. You know, I down there where it said other, that's a penny tax on pay for the jail. Nobody complains about that. Uh, we got a little video last now. night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the county commission, they'll take that. Stanley yeah. takes that. Uh, here's a little bit of the video from last night that you will see tonight from 6 to 7 now, exclusively right here on ZTV 11. We'll show you everything I shot last night. It's the, the main deal, and this is the guy voicing his complaint. Not one person came up there last night and said, I thank you for upping the sales tax for uh, you know a little bit. We can hear a little bit in the background there, but there's the city council all seated. And uh, this guy was giving out clothespins, uh, I believe, because it stinks to high heaven. Was that his uh, mm -hmm. complaint? Yeah, I think that was his complaint. He said he lived in East Limestone and that's just past. He, he would go to Madison and shop. Were well, you shocked that not more people from actually the city of Athens were complaining? These were all mainly residents of Limestone County who obviously have to spend like we do to buy something here. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. And there's a former mayor, Lakin Collins, of. Uh, Athens. Yeah. And Tom, anything last night surprised you about the people that were uh, voicing their objections? Well, no. Uh, anytime you hear about uh, tax rate increase, it's, it's always a concern. But once you uh, look into things and, and coming up and knowing why, then you can uh, adjust to it a little bit better. But, you know, just tax increase all together is no. But it was the know. first time since 1975. 1975. Last tax Isn't that increase. uncommon to go that long without an increase in taxes for the city? In some instances, yeah. yeah. But, well, you, you know, we, when we passed this last night, this is a future down the road. Every night. When's it going to effect? When does it go into effect? January 1st. January 1st. Okay, because I, I, I never kind of heard that last night. But January 1st is when it goes into effect. And it's going to be used to upgrade city services. By all, line, right? all the city services, part debt service, school system get 20% there. Yeah. And Stanley was in there last night, Stanley Menifee, wanting y'all to share some of that with the county. Yeah. Is that going to happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it going to happen? No. <laughs> So what was his point? Just trying to say that I don't know what his point was, but it didn't didn't have no effect. I mean, it's city sales tax. You know, we don't get any taxes. We get some from the county, but not you know a big difference. Like I said, they don't share that one penny with us 
that they pay on a utility bill. Are you glad this is finally over? Yeah. Well, we move on. When you say people have got received some extremely nasty threats, like threats like what? Yeah, what are you talking about? Because all of y'all were saying that. And yeah. especially you and Harold Lee said I, they were nasty. And yeah, don't I say who it was, but I mean, what was one of the threats? I, I mean, how ugly do people get? They said this was one. I got one email saying, you know, this is bad. And I remember you when come election time. And this is not a threat. This is a promise. <laughs> uh, a whole lot of racial slur, you know. Really? I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, even though you're the only black man up there, other people voted yes, too. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to hold somebody stand out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you stand out, Jimmy. You stand out. Well, I got to tell you, Jimmy, I commended you last night with my first time ready to see you in action, and you handled what, as we perceived, would be a Irate somewhat crowd. hostile crowd last mm -hmm. night in there, and you kept them in line. I had police chiefs that know that. <laughs> well, there, I know there were several of them had, in had there last night. had three others in the back. Well, are you <laughs> pleased with the way everything came out? I know uh, Dr. Cottle's last day was last night, and so was uh, Mignon. Mignon and uh, Jim, Hickman, Jim Hickman, and they were presented with uh, plaques from Ronnie, the mayor of Athens. You'll see that tonight, too. But, Jimmy, anything else we need to know about this tax deal that maybe didn't come out last night? Um, not really, but because of everything we... It's printed in the paper Sunday, the whole outline, the proposal, the things we, you know, supposed to do. You know, we may start to need to put city council meetings on the television more often when well, you got some action down there. Well, that, you know, we don't know when the next action will be. <laughs> <laughs> but you're pleased with everything. I'm pleased with it. Anything you'd like to see about them people, anything you'd like to say right now, the people sent you nasty messages? <laughs> Who Grow was? Up. Well, uh, you know, the, 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 the Bible said, pray for those that see for hate you, so I pray for them. All right. You did good last night, Jimmy. Proud of you. Thank you. Proud of you. Don't forget, you can see that exclusively tonight. Now, we didn't get to a lot of video of the Chick-fil-A thing. We'll get that right, tomorrow. Right, Fall Festival. We'll definitely have that on tomorrow. And don't forget, as the City Council, tax vote exclusive tonight. Yes, sir, Mr. Gill. 9 o'clock today at the KLB office. They right. got the uh, grease thing and how They're going to donate that Bob, grease to the uh, 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 wastewater yeah. department. Be that's talking about. How you recycle grease to the point it down your drain, stop your sewage up and all One last that. question. Do I need, Frank, need to escort you to your vehicle this morning? <laughs> I mean, I don't know anybody hanging out in the parking lot waiting on you. Well, I got something. What do you mean? All right, we'll take a look at it another day. We'll see y'all right early tomorrow morning. See y'all. Bye.